Hello guys and welcome to Squidgy Face Plays. Today's commands is basically me showing you how the new particle command works that we just got in the 1.8 update now. I don't usually do this type of video where I show you how one specific command works because I just don't think it's necessary. But today, this command really confused me and it took me a while to figure these commands out. So I thought I would show you what I found. So I'm going to start over this corner here. So basically each of these command blocks is going to have a different command in them with each of the new particles. Now these are the only particles I personally could get working. I did try others. So like I know the, the particle for like hearts above a, like a, an animal or like things like that. I tried those. I couldn't get them to work. These are the only things I could get to work. So let's start it off with test underscore bezier curve i don't know what that means bezier curve but it basically just does that it like spits out a load of bubbles in red and then they just float up naturally in like you know blue i don't know why it does that the next one is the catmull rom curve catmull rom curve i don't know what that means really confused but it's essentially just bubbles that get really really big i don't know what that command's about uh, like what that particle's about i don't know why it'd even be used I don't know, but I think these are, I'm pretty sure these are just example ones where you can then, then like add your own, but I don't know how to do that yet, so I will look into that. This one is, I do like this one, this is Combo Curve. I actually really like this uh, as a little particle effect, I think it's really cool. It's like a little party thing going on, and I do like that. The next one is Linear Curve, which is like a smoke thing, I don't know, I'll, I'll come back to that one because there's another one very similar to it, and I'll... I wanted to just double check something. So this one is spiral, which is that. <laughs> it's like um, it's like a DNA spiral type thing. I, I do like it. I think it's pretty cool. It's a bit long though. It takes a while to stop. Yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit weird. Um, I'm not gonna play this one yet. I'm gonna leave this one to last. Actually, no, I will do it now. Actually, just to show you, this one is mob flame emitter. Okay. So that basically, I think that's just basically means the flames that come off a mob when they're on fire. Problem is, when I start it like that, it kind of doesn't stop. Now this would be pretty cool for like a campfire, I think. I don't know, I haven't really explored too much. Um, it would not stop for me when I last tried this. So if that doesn't stop, if that stops now, then that's fair enough, that's pretty cool. Um, what else have we got? So this one, uh, what's this one? This one is the colour curve. This one is very similar to the very first one, like this one. So, I mean, it's very similar, except it's just multicolored rather than it start, doesn't start off just red. And then it just goes multicolored as well. Um, the next one is Test Bounce. This one's weird. This is basically like bubbles shoot out, but then they act like physical objects that bounce around the room. It's, it's weird. But they don't bounce that far and they just kind of slide off. Yeah, it's, it's weird. And um, then you got the test high restitution, which high restitution, I'm pretty sure that means like a higher bounce. I'm not too sure. I haven't fact checked that, but I'm pretty sure restitution means like a bounce, like a, I don't know. But when you click it, it sends them even further and it bounces a lot more. Um, yeah, it's a bit of a weird one, this one. Like, I don't get it. I don't get why this is needed. But yeah, there it is. High restitution. Um, the next one is test underscore mule as in like a donkey and a horse together a mule i don't get why it's called that because it's essentially the same command just less bounce <laughs> it's like it jumps out more but it's just less bounce than the others and you just get like these weird marbles all over your your floor <laughs> the next one is right okay this one is smoke underscore puff so test underscore smoke underscore puff and when we click it it does that right but like it's very similar to not combo curve where is it okay that one linear curve so there's linear oh wait i've just noticed the difference <laughs> because uh, yeah they are really similar except this one gets really big if that makes sense and individual squares start popping out so you'll see like towards the end it gets bigger and like individual squares you can see whereas uh oh uh, i can't press it okay <laughs> that one actually doesn't that one just fades off like normal and the last one which is the weirdest one which i've not actually thought of a use for which is the test underscore sphere, which is that. I, I don't get it. I, I, I don't understand it. I don't know why it's there. <laughs> it, 
if you know why that's a thing, let me know. Also, if you do know of any more working particles without me obviously adding stuff in through resource packs, let me know. Because I would love to know them. So, that's still not gone out. That's See that? Oh, no, I broke it. We'll just ignore that. So, I've set up a couple of commands over here. Which, I'm going to demonstrate to you the way you maybe could use these commands. So, I've, obviously, if you guys have been a, a watcher of my channel, you'll know I did a custom floor crafting thing, right? So, uh, this was basically an add-on for the floor crafting. So, if we throw some cobblestone, uh, cobblestone, glowstone, and some coal, we can make some diamond. But it also does that. And I think, I don't know, I, just, I like the effect. I think it looks pretty cool. It makes it all look nice. I don't know. And then, the other test that I did... Was, why have I got Dragon's Breath? That's not what I need right now. I need a bottle of XP. That's annoying. Oh, where's the bottles of XP? That's annoying. Okay, there they are. Okay, so... But their idea is, like... A cool effect that would... What would happen if you threw a bottle of enchanting into water... And it would, like, erupt with bubbles like that? I don't know. I just thought that was, like, a cool little concept. Uh, oh, my God. Maybe I, I should stop. There's quite a lot there now. Oh god, <laughs> it's like it's almost like I'm throwing in some like bubble bat. Oh my god, they're going around the room. I'm gonna go outside and I'm gonna go test this outside into the normal like realms of water. Right, so let's uh, go and check it, testing the actual water. Oh, it's gonna take too long. There we go. <laughs> so it doesn't actually work until the glass bottle breaks, like you'll see, like that. So yeah, I don't know. That was a bit of a, a daft command really but that is the new particle command guys i don't know too much about it at this point because it's different from the pc's version of the particle command because the pc version there's lots and lots of of different things you can have like <laughs> i can't even talk there's other things you can add to this so like any particles you see in the game normally will work with this command but in this version of the game in bedrock it's not doing that so i was a bit confused like I know on PC, like, I can make particles appear and I can change the size of them, the duration, like, all that sort of stuff. But I can't do it on this. So, maybe it's just not that advanced yet. But anyway, guys, I will leave, the, I will leave all of these commands, so, like, each individual particle command in the description below. So, you can try this out for yourselves. Again, if you find any more particles that I don't know about... Please let me know in the, the comments because I'd love to know them, obviously. And I will see you all again in the next episode. Bye!